do do ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Hey everyone, welcome to another podcast episode. Yes, this is our new series, Hustlin' Blocks. But guess what? It's EDU edition, okay? Um, you know, sh shout out to all the schools, though. Shout out to all the schools. Um, yeah. So I'm your host, Janie Laney here, and we have, oops, we have Jay. All right? And Jay is a wonderful, 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 wonderful person who um, likes Minecraft, I would hope. And actually, Jay, go ahead and tell us about yourself. So, I, my name is Jay, as said. Uh, I'm a junior and the treasurer of the Minecraft club in my school. Um, it's, a, it's been a long, long time there. I've been there for like three years of so my entire high school career, and we have done a lot, a lot of stuff. And I'm just excited to share this with you now to tell everybody about this amazing world of the micro education edition. Man, like, listen, I, if you would have told me back when I was in middle and high school, if you would have told me that, like, there would have been a time where people would have appreciated video games enough to actually use them in schools to teach, I would have, I, I would have actually never believed you. I, I would have been like, Nah, son. They they would never. They could never. But you guys are actually utilizing Minecraft as a tool to learn. And um, I don't know. I got kind of some word that like you guys. Uh, some of you guys go and maybe are going to different schools to teach people how to use. Yes. Yeah. Is, yeah, is, yeah. is, is that is that it's, correct? It's, it's correct. It's the other day. Um, uh, my friends, I I, I couldn't go. They went to some elementary school in Manhattan, and they were teaching um, teachers how to incorporate like Minecraft edition edition into teaching their students. Because you know they're elementary, they're little kids. Like teaching them through Minecraft will really catch their attention real quick, and like really just like get them to like really focus on stuff. It's oh, it's an wow. amazing time. We even taught like teachers too. We were like teaching teachers, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. And I taught one. I taught, I taught one of my teachers, bro. I hope she got me. She gave me a hundred on my chem test too. So it was not yes. a coincidence. I got that. I got that in the bag. <laughs> yes. See, and that is, I mean, honestly, I I love that for you, but I don't know if you understand how powerful you really are with that because not only are you learning, but you guys are able to teach. That means that you really are grasping. It's not just you guys memorizing things. It's like you're being taught it. You're actually learning and then, like, listen, since you learned so much, go ahead and teach somebody. So that, I, I commend you. I commend you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, and I really do love that. So tell me about Minecraft. Tell me about what you guys use Minecraft education for. Like, like, like mm -hmm. explain to me why you guys have it in your classroom and how you guys utilize it. Well, like in micro education edition, it's like um like sub genres. Like they have subs they have like science, history, geometry. They have like, like every subject you can think of right now. They have that inside of games. So you kind of just teach it to like the kids through those little lessons, and they're like really easy to grasp, and they're fun. They're engaging. It's just an amazing time. And um, let me think. Hold up, my brain is farting right now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, actually, I remember um, Mr. Ahmed, the Minecraft club advisor, he would teach um, his health class through, like, they were building a whole hospital, understand what goes into a hospital, what makes a hospital, and really just, like, wow. it, it was an amazing thing. I would come, like, first period, and I'm like, what are they doing? Like, oh, they're building a hospital. I'm like, what? Oh, let me catch <laughs> on. Let me, let me go on. Let me go on. I want to I wanna build a hospital for 100? What? Wow. That... That's amazing. So when, okay, so I was, I was led on. I was told that you were actually one of the first students in the program at your school. Yeah. So how was that pitched to you? Like, how, how did you, how did you find out about it? And then how did you like tell that to your, tell that to your parents? Like, how, like, what was that process like? Okay, so what happened was is that like it's COVID, you know, everything is shut down. We're all at home and our beds boring. And then this, t this the the school released like this Google form, it had, like a hundred clubs, and it would it would go to like um, paper club, origami club, knitting oh. club, 
to robotics to minecraft club and at this time bro i was grinding minecraft like i love bed wars like i i played bed wars like it was like drinking water 16 hours a day it was it was bad it was really really bad but i was like yo i might get joined i told to my friend my middle school friend like yo this is like a minecraft club in my school but what are they gonna do like you can, you can play minecraft in a club so i joined it and somehow we got like we grew so much in like these three years like i would never imagine me first joining minecraft club what do you mean because like i'm telling this to my dad like when every time i go for trips he's like oh you go to the microsoft experience center for what class i said minecraft club he's like get what what are you talking about like what? minecraft club and i was like yeah, yeah we just like gotta spread like education word throughout like new york city or you talk to the mayor the chancellor and I'm like, you do, we're, we're out here and we're just all from like a Google form during COVID. And we have this, we, this is us a, a, a lot to comprehend. It's like actually overwhelming when I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, damn, we really, we really started from the bottom and like we kind of just everywhere now. It's just something. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> You're going to make me cry and I'm not even a part of that. <laughs> oh, but no, that is like, so like, so my dad is originally from Harlem. And so, like, he was telling me about what it was like to grow up. And I know so many different creators and everyone from New York where I understand that, like, you know, New York's school system is not the best. I mean, in America, the school systems are not the best. But in, in yeah. New York, a lot of the school system, it, unfortunately, especially depending on what school you go to, you really might be missing the mark because resources um often the city just might not care you know stuff like that yeah. so i love the fact that you guys are being introduced to a tool that makes you want to learn even more and makes you this hyped about learning because i'm a learning junkie and you're sitting up there uh -huh. like having fun and stuff and i'm like yo i want to just go back in time so I can go hang out and kick it with you guys. So that is like really cool. And shout out to your dad to like that wasn't trying to like downplay everything, but you know, was still kind of like, okay, what's going on? Okay. Yeah. Sounds interesting. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> you know, but I, I think that that's really cool. And I think it's like amazing that you took, you took the initiative to want to get, uh, you you saw Minecraft. You're like, okay, I'm playing this this game anyways. I see Minecraft. Let me see what this is about. Thank you so much for taking that initiative and for exploring. Cause I'm sure you've been a pivotal role for a lot of people. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of your fellow classmates probably have said, "Yo, if it wasn't for you, <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I would have never tried this out." So yeah. shout out to you, you know, big yeah. shout out to you. So when, like, what does an average day look like um, inside of your classroom? Okay. Um, so throughout the day, sometimes we play Minecraft History Edition and like, oh, last year actually we play a Minecraft Edition like a hit for our history class because he actually went to one Ooh. of the sessions that I taught to him. And oh yeah, yeah, he was teaching my, the lesson that I presented to him, which is kind of crazy and I think I got it on just like hope so. That would be really embarrassing if I didn't. But yeah, but, but this year I'm actually in the game development class, which Mr. Ahmed is hosting to everybody with like co spaces and everything. And we, we build like roller coasters and we're building right now um, the Lava game. It, and it's just an amazing time. That class is so much fun all the time. It's, we get loud and rowdy in there, I'm not gonna lie, but like we, it's always something to look forward to throughout my day. That is. Dope. Okay. Cool beans. Get... <sighs> that is so cool. <laughs> that is like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm so happy for you guys. That is really cool. Like that is like some, like that is top tier. Like literally you are learning, you are learning things that a lot of people go to school, like have to pay have to yeah. fully pay to learn. Like you're learning things that a lot of people go to school for three, four years of paying, you know, tuition and stuff like that. They pay like $36,000 plus like, a year just yeah. to learn this. So you, I, I love this for you guys. And I, I also love the fact that clearly 
these lessons are being curated to not only be fun, but to like make you want to dig deeper. Like I, I really, you know what? I'm, I'm about to ask that man if I could just show up. Honestly, bro, just come up here, bro. Come up, come up, come on, come up. Like, yo, we would welcome you with open arms. You give you a bacon, egg, and cheese on your way there from the airport. We got you, bro. Just come. Up. I'll come to JFK myself. I'll get like, I don't know what I'm gonna do to get there, but I'll get there. And we're gonna come. You're gonna come to the school, and we're gonna we're gonna play Maka Bedwars Education Edition. We're gonna show you all the game development stuff that we do. Like, you're gonna love it here. Listen, here. listen. We're gonna come out. I'm gonna do it with the right now, actually. Hold up. Yeah, cause cause I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, cause my my dad's cousin still stays up there, and and the last time I went up there, I was I was up there for like two months. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I was up there for two months. But like you know, I really like I'm really enthralled and very happy to see this because you know you're 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 literally the future you are like the future whatever it is you want to do regardless of whether or not you want to get into gaming or you decide to go into engineering or you want to be like whatever the heck you feel like doing you are literally like solidifying some great skills that you can take with you wherever so even if you decided that you're just like look i just want to freelance it and just run around like a wild pokemon and do whatever (laughs) but you have all of these skills of game design game development you you have all of these skills it's like huh like you, yeah, you, you, you know. the times and everything. Yeah. Like in a whole new world, technology generation now. We gotta update ourselves to the education system because we can't be doing the same stuff that we learned like back in the 1900s. I, I, I guess hundreds OD, but like <laughs> we keep gotta learn like technology now, game development, all that. So I was born in the 1900s. I was technically born in the 1900s. I what year you, was that? I take you know I take offense. Okay. Okay. Look, look, look. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Live, laugh, love, y'all. Live, laugh, love. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. So, um, that is actually like, <laughs> that is actually really amazing. So when it comes down to your experience with Minecraft, you said that you like to do your, you like to do your bed wars. Um, yeah. When it comes down to your experience in Minecraft, what has been your experience with like the diversity pool? Like, are you do you notice a lot of diversity? And feel free to be as candid as possible. Mm, mm, okay. All right. So playing with that boys, dude. Yo, they're all full of them little white kids, bro. All the time, they think they're so funny too. I'm like, bro, let me body here real quick. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like they, they just be like sometimes blatantly up like like they just trying to bypass like trying to be racist and everything so yeah and what i'm like bro watch me do this 90 on you like watch me watch me watch me destroy your bed like i don't know it's just weird but diversity is not too high or at least like at least like as you said like before like it was like so small like you can't even see like my people around anywhere like bro where's the, where's the black power at because they right. be pushed all the way down so like when i'm on a scout i'm not on the lookout for like some bed wars players and which so I have now, like I have friends who play Bedwars and I just play with them now and then. Like, we really be bodying everybody. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if we if we need to, you know, shoot, if we need to go ahead and do some more scouting so we could go and have some amazing black excellence of bed wars, then so be it. <laughs> then I guess we we would just have to go ahead and do it, huh? Like, but I I think that is really great. And it's it sucks that you notice this, but I think that is actually kind of good that you do notice this because you're noticing it and you're like, okay, I'm still here though. <laughs> like yeah. that that that's what I like. That is what I really do love. So in your opinion, like what do you think what do you think needs to happen in order to see more diversity? Or do you think that it's never going to happen? Like what, what do you think? Ooh, that's a hard question. Oh yeah, my God. It is. I'm only a baby. I'm a child. You what do you mean? Them? No, no, yeah, no, no, not son. Not son. You were like, look, I'm going to spin on you. I'm going to spin on you. I'm doing all that. You were, you were out there. I'm so, all no, I'm all no, 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 no. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you can't be a child now. You, you you can't be a child now. So like so like how like like what do you truly think is the can be the future of either gaming in general or at least the future of Minecraft? I, like I, I'll I'll give you I'll give you that and say future of Minecraft. <laughs> I'm messing around, but I feel like if um, if more black creators were more promoted more often, because sometimes there's some like little um, there's little black creators, right? Who be who are like the best at Hunger Games, and everything, and all them like other the other Minecraft creators who you always see on like Twitch, YouTube, and everything, they be mid compared to them, and they, they're always down there because they don't get enough like appreciation and love, and they and, and they deserve it because they work hard, like they push out videos every single day. Like, they need to be more appreciated. I think one thing to start is that Mojang, Minecraft, they all come bring the black creators up because they're there. You just got to look for them. And you're not looking for them at all. You just got to stay. Everybody who's listening or everyone who's watching this, this podcast, for the last five years, half of you guys have been calling me crazy. But... A whole child has said what I've been telling you guys for five yeah. years. And like, so you so you said the creators, all right? Now, how important is content creation to the gaming atmosphere? It promotes everything. Like, I don't think I would know Minecraft if I didn't see somebody play that game. Like, I don't know, it's just how I was growing up. Like, I, most games that you see now, they're, they're popular. Like, you, the reason, like, teach the, the, the creators get sponsors is because they share it out more. That's why you need the creators. You need the creators to promote your game because they make it look better. They make it look entertaining. They, make, they, they get, like, little young audiences, and they go up to their mommy and poppy and, like, yo, yo, mommy, uh, give, me, give me this game, please. Pretty please, click on top. And... And it's how you promote your game. It's like, bro, then you got to go after the black creators, too. I'm not just going to say, go after the black creators. Come on, help us out. Game represents game. You just got to unite. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hands, but unite. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you are, like, very, like, you're right. And um, it's... It's very amazing that you that you can say that where... Like, so, like, me growing up, I didn't grow up watching content creators. Um, I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, like, I mean, YouTube, you know, YouTube came out, but originally on YouTube, I was watching, like, I was watching girls with hair videos. I actually used to do hair videos. Nobody asked for my old channel because you're not going to find it. You're not, oh, can I have it? No, no, you can't have it because I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I cannot trust you. (laughs) But like, you know, (laughs) you know, growing up, like we didn't necessarily um, have content creators to really look up to. It's been now just only recently where we've been having, you know, where we've been seeing creators and a lot of us just are creators. So like, I I love that you really do appreciate the realm and the aspect of content creation. Um, that is, that is really, that's really huge. So when it comes down to content, I mean, have you considered making content? Like, do you think that that's something that you would ever get into? Or do you, would you rather just like to like, you know, indulge in the games and stuff like that? Like without being on streams and stuff? Like what, what are your thoughts on content creation? Like for yourself? I, I feel like I would do it, but like, I don't really know. Cause like, it's, ooh, I feel like it's like doing that right. Is if you got happy cause ha. Oh. Happy, oh, hobby, <laughs> because like, oh, that, that is actually like it hurts me my so much. You see people's paychecks when they're doing content creation. I'm like, oh, that's gonna pay no rent here. That's not paying no rent. So, but I do, I do, I am looking like to like engage myself more in the games and everything. Like, I hope I do like, a little bit of both. Like, I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do, but I know it's something to do with like games and everything, all that. I said, okay. Thought for me to do later now. Now, have you had a chance to speak to a successful content creator about their content creation journey at all? 
Mm. Let me think. Um, this, <laughs> this like TikTokers count. <laughs> well, I mean, they they are they are content creators. Yeah. Then I talk to like TikTokers and like Instagram people and all that. Like, there's this I I, forgot, I can't forget the name. But there was this like, was little magazine, it's that magazine might be a digital magazine brand that I had like my friend was the model choose for. It was really cool and everything. Like there was like really Y two K, like really New York stuff. It was mm. it was amazing. But like I don't know. So I, it was a lot of stress on my heart. So and you have you haven't met a Twitch yeah. streamer no, from New York that is successful? No. I mean, other than you, but you're you're in Florida. So yeah, I was not in Florida. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We, we got you. Listen, 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 listen. I'm big braining something right now that we're gonna talk mm-hmm. about after the podcast. I'm big braining okay. something right now. Okay, okay? okay. but like, <laughs> I I think that it's really cool that you that you do understand the situation with a lot of times content creators aren't making that money. But I think it's really great too that you do know that there are some who are. So you know, it it is what it is. That is actually I think that that yo that is oh my god. Like I am so jealous of you right now. Like Why? because it's like you're just you're like you're so much younger, but you're so like like you're you're up to speed on stuff. Like and it's it's great. Ugh. It's shout out oh, my mom for gosh. that. Shout out my mom for that. Ever since I was little, bro, she got me like reading like these Black History books. Like I was, I was like studying Black Panther when I was like ten. It was, it was, it was wild, bro. But shout out to my mom, bro. Like she really got me out here. Got this kind of mindset I have. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I'm so enthralled. <laughs> See, it, we could be best friends, but that'd oh, be we weird. Can. But we could be best no, friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So, um, so tell me about your overall goals. Um, and they don't have to include Minecraft. They can't include Minecraft. What are your overall goals? What because you are a junior, you know where 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 is life headed for Jay, or where where does Jay see life going? Yeah. Okay. So one thing, career. Like um, when I go to college, I'm going. I want to do like a journalism major. I don't know why journalism has caught my eye. To be honest with you. But like generally, I say I wanna I'm gonna start writing stuff about people like especially like yeah I'm not gonna lie bro I'm a bit of a, I'm a political science nerd I be I be on that grind so um I just wanna do like some journalism political science you know I think my main goal is to get CIA investigated get, get investigated by CIA and I feel like that's like the my that's my prime like I'll be fine with life like that I that's not, that's, not, that's my goal I want I want to be investigated by the CIA. For like exposing their secrets, that's my main. Goal. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, I was like, hold on, we might have to take this out of the podcast. <laughs> like, hold on, it's Black you History Month, and we're talking about getting no. But that actually, that's cool though. Like, oh my gosh, listen. Oh, I used to. Okay, this is not advice to anybody listening. Me and my friends used to say key words on the phone to see if they were really tapping it. Because, you know, oh. <laughs> like, so, that is so cool. I'm not, I, um, side note, we are not promoting anyone to yeah, get no. invested by the CIA. No. We're just merely saying, in an alternate universe. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Multiverse, multiverse. <laughs> yeah, multiverse. Exactly. Actually, what I all said just now, guys, it was a joke. It was a big, big joke. <laughs> FBI, don't come after me. I'm a little kid. Goo goo gaga. Like, don't come after me, please. I'm a, I'm a good kid. <laughs> but I think I think that it's really it's really amazing that you are very well rounded with you know stuff that you want to do like journalism because journalism opens up so many doors so 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 many doors like I I love journalism I used to be on like my school's news 
team and all that stuff. Yeah, and yeah. like you know, doing the interviews and like writing up the okay, stuff and everything. Okay, stop. Okay, but we can burn it up. Burn it up. <laughs> so like, so for you to like say that like journalism is something that you're interested in is really like that is really awesome, and like. What you're doing, because, like, just think about it. You're interested in journalism. You understand how to learn at your pace, and you understand how to teach others at their pace, okay? You are literally grinding in different areas to be this miraculous person who loves video games. My ego's getting higher. My ego's getting higher. Well, (laughs) your ego deserves to be higher. Like, this, it's... No, it's too high. It's too high It's really great. No, it's it's, (laughs) it's a really great thing because, you know, there are are kids your age that just because of, like, you know, situations that were not even their fault, they, they don't even have access enough to even think past today. So... You're doing like like you're 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 utilizing the tools that have been given to you to not only do something for you but to create other tools for other people. So I like this. I'm enjoying this. Like I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, like this is like you. real 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 cool. And like, you know, like that is just awesome. So when it comes down to your time with Minecraft Education Edition. Yeah. Do you feel like it has actually improved you as a student, as a learner, in some type of way? Like, what areas do you feel like you have gained because of your access to Minecraft Education Edition? I think it has changed me completely. Like, in every aspect of my personality, my mindset, like, I feel like it has really impacted my life, which is weird because it's a, a block game, a sandbox block game from 2011. Not even 2011, 2009 something. And it's just really just impacting my life. Like, I've, I've updated my, my communication skills. Like, I have a, I had I had a really bad stutter before joining my cap club, and it got better later on. So, I, it got me communication skills, um, like, just, just talking, teaching. I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, there's so much that has done for me. And it's just so much more than, like, than just, like, a little sandbox block game from the early 2000s. Cause it's like in fact it's it's impacting me and like it's just this is my story too so it can impact so much more others and it's and it's it's like the beginning too like we're this is we're trying to get this up here so everyone can feel the same way that I felt like I have like like in, like improvement in everything your personality all that stuff just from a blocking that's like that's the main goal of my hair club actually just like prove everybody make sure you're a better person from when you first joined that is oh my gosh that is so. Oh. I can't, you know what? I'm definitely gonna have to keep up with with your guys's like um, class and like development and stuff because, like, literally, like your graduation is going to be lit. All right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your you look look. Your graduation is gonna be lit. I I I don't know how it's gonna be, but it's going to be so amazing because like your graduation is going to be you saying, "All right, next step." <laughs> next yeah. like that is really next cool shopping. yeah and what you're doing now and what you have been doing that is just laying down the framework for others that come after you because remember you're you're basically you were basically in the inaugural class for the minecraft club like you, you realize that <laughs> like hey, like, I, like, I really- <laughs> like you you realize that you're actually creating black history for somebody you you realize that Wait. you are somebody. Hold on, no, you are somebody's Black History. Damn. Think about it. You are Wait. somebody's Black History. That means that you know, four or five years from now, when there mm-hmm. are new freshmen just coming in. And they're like, oh, wait, there's clubs available? What what, what are these clubs about? And then, like, they get to see different things with, like, your picture on it. Or, like, you know, what if what if you, you guys just have, like, your, your first inaugural class takes, like, like, some cool behind Minecraft-like expose yeah. pictures and stuff? What if you're actually the person that goes and writes about the experience that you guys Ooh. have had? And there's other 
children. There's other students that actually read that and they're like, man, I want to be part of this. Like you are literally someone's black history. Like th think about it that way. And, and you're actually like, you're actually showcasing your parents' legacy within you because your, your parents, like shout out to your parents for actually being supportive, regardless of whether or not they fully know what's going on. All right, because I'm going to be honest, my mother literally just found out that Fortnite and Minecraft are not the same thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yep. yep. So regardless of of where your regardless of where your parents are at in that step process, you know, it's just the fact that they've been like supportive of you and it shows. Yeah. It really does show like you're actually happy to talk about this. You're not hiding your gaming and that is Oh, this is so great. It's 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 an amazing thing. So like honestly, like that's really where you have to think about it, is that you're somebody's black history right now. You you are somebody's black history in the making. You know, a lot of people who are great, a lot of people who are great, it's not that they didn't know that they were great, but they didn't realize their impact until later on. I'm like you know that you're actually setting you're 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 the catalyst for this impact. Like and you should really be like proud okay okay I'm you should be you should oh, be proud like i'm trying not to fully tear up because like <laughs> this is this is just like it's so fun to actually like hear a student happy about learning and happy like oh uh, like you you know that there's a lot of students that don't feel this joy that you have because yeah the circumstances that they've been dealt with have they've not been getting the good cards or they're they've been getting certain things and it's like it's because they've gone through so much it's hard for them to grasp a good thing when they see one so you are actually helping so many people and you need to continue to tell your story like you said you you love journalism yeah. you need to write your story like and i look you write a story i'll be Hit me up. I'll let you. me know. I'll credit you. I'll credit you. No, don't credit me. Just let me know so I can go ahead and buy into it. Okay. I just, you know, that that's yeah. you know, you know, like you're like, oh, I just came out with my autobiography. Don't <laughs> charge me eighty dollars. Don't charge me eighty dollars. You know, okay, I, I'm sure you know, you know, if you know, maybe you we could go a little like like sixty dollars or something, you know. But like I I really love this for you, and I see so much more potential for you to do even greater things. Like you're already doing some great stuff because yeah, I was I was informed of your greatness already, <laughs> but like the fact that you want to keep going and you want to keep going in different areas areas is really great so big shout outs to you and like you know i appreciate you for for talking about your time with minecraft education edition now as we close this out okay um if there is any advice that you can give for a student um who maybe they're they just got introduced to uh to a minecraft club or maybe maybe they just got introduced to minecraft in general if you could give any advice to that student what would you have what would you say great question i gotta actually i gotta really think it out Oh, what I say, Ron? I don't know. I could be something along the lines of like this is everything. Every step you take is only the beginning. Like you're gonna go, you're gonna go every step out all these stairs. You're gonna reach to your peak, and you gotta keep on going up. You don't stop anywhere. You always gotta keep on peaking. You never don't peak in high school, bro. Don't peak in high school. Don't peak in middle school. Peak in elementary. Don't peak in kindergarten. You gotta keep on peaking until you're you're you're, you're dead, bro. And you always just gotta have that mentality on you. Like every, everything that you do leads to a better future and it's really your choice. And you have to go take that step out to be the better person. And that's really all I got my, my mindset right now, my brain right now actually. So everything else is like brain fart is like my, my mouth, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that is good. Like that goes for everybody, adults included, you know? Mm. You know, um, adults that that goes for me, all right. That that goes for me. You're you're constantly teaching, yeah. 
okay? But that that goes for everyone. Like, just because you feel like you've done you've done your best this year doesn't mean that you can't <laughs> do even better. Like you, yeah. you're always going to be able to elevate if that's what you want to do. So mm-hmm. like, I truly do appreciate it. So everyone, this has been, this has been a great hustling blocks episode, edu version. A you know yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah. and we we got to listen to the amazing j you know thank you, thank you. amazing j I <laughs> and uh yeah we're going ahead and closing this on actually, out actually, actually, oh yeah 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 do your thing go go actually, ahead bro, shout, out, shout, out, shout out to you bro like like bro i would have never imagined this at all when you're doing so much like I'll, i've actually been i've just been studying you i'm not gonna lie like i've been listening to your the black minecraft yeah <laughs> wait i've listened to the black minecraft i was on your youtube channel like oh wait they actually kind of cool they're actually kind of cool bro like and like and this is what i mean like you need to des- you need to deserve a higher up opportunity you deserve to be on the top screen of twitch and youtube so like shout out to you gay i i mean like it's it it means it means a lot for you to uh it means a lot for you to say that it it really truly 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 does i've had an interesting content creation career so it's been interesting um but no i i truly do um i do appreciate this you know um i appreciate your teacher for allowing us to connect um yeah shout out to man. yes uh shout yeah, out to linkedin know. all right shout out Ooh, to linkedin yeah. because that's the only way that i met that i met mr Ahmed yo he does LinkedIn. not stop talking about linkedin bro he's like yo, yo you guys should make a linkedin make a LinkedIn. you guys you guys, you guys need to i'll do it later I thought she had I'm, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Later. I, I need like, you. I need you guys to all be on LinkedIn. I'm telling you, like you, you are in, you are in a great, in a great moment where LinkedIn actually looks like we belong there. Okay. Because when I first made my LinkedIn, like mm-hmm. 15, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Okay, we're not going to say 15, 15 years ago. Shh, 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 stop. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's say let's say 12 years ago, okay? Great. So the first time that I made my LinkedIn, um, <laughs> like 12 years ago, the, like, it didn't, it didn't look like people like us could be on there. It didn't look, it, it really, you know, it, it didn't seem like that could be a us place, but now LinkedIn is on and popping. Okay, that is literally where I've been meeting so many, so so many people just like you, you know, so many people like Mr. Ahmed. Like that's where I've been meeting these people. So yeah, get your behind on LinkedIn. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. I'll do it right after this. All right, oh my God. all right, get on LinkedIn. Okay, cool. But yeah. yeah. So and that yeah. goes for everybody else who's listening. Get on LinkedIn too. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so this has been <laughs> this has been Hustling Vlogs. I am your host, Jamie Laney. We had Jay in the building. Okay. And you know, um, I will talk to you guys on the next go. All right. So later guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>